action. Hey, babe, how was work today? Uh, I got fired. Oh, again? It's okay. I have great news that'll cheer up this whole family. What you is know? it? Tell us. I went to the animal shelter and got us a dog. <laughs> Jade is an interesting character because it's easy to dismiss her as just the mean girl, but you don't have to look very hard to see that all of her anger and hatred comes from a place of hurt. If you pay close attention to her while watching the first season of the show, you may realize something strange. Jade initially doesn't sit with the main characters. Instead, she sits alone, and the only person that speaks to her at her table is her boyfriend. Another thing of note is the fact that Jade wears a few colorful outfits earlier in the show, before trading it in for a much more gothic apparel. Of all the characters in the show, I think Jade has the most depth. This becomes especially noticeable if you binge watch a whole bunch of episodes like I've been. I invited my dad to come see my play on opening night. And? He hates me. Uh, but why would anyone hate you? He doesn't understand creative people. He thinks that wanting to be an actor or writer or director is stupid. So I invited him to my play because I thought it was going to be really good and hopefully make him finally have some respect for me. Jade clearly has a negative relationship with her dad. If we just watch the show, that episode is the only insight we get to her home life. But if you check the slap... My daddy hates everything I stand for. He just wants to hang out with his new wife and her yappy little dog. And he's never kept one promise. Ever. So, you know, the one time my dad made me breakfast, the one time, literally once, I threw up the whole morning, spent the whole morning puking. What do you think about that? Another video on the slap has Jade mentioned that her dad loses jobs frequently, but what makes matters worse is, well, watch this. Dad? Jade? Just say whether you liked it or not! Friend of yours? Eh. So, my play? I thought it was excellent. Thanks. Anything else? Would you please take that jewelry out of your face? No. Bye. Bye. When Jade does get her dad's approval, he turns it into something else. And that's just talking about her dad. Here's what she says about her mom. See this piercing here? And this one here? I got both of them about 45 minutes after my mother told me I wasn't allowed to get my face pierced. Sorry, Mom. Yeah, Jade's got issues. But I must say, she is a pretty unique addition to the cast. Let me ask you something. How often is it that the mean girl in a high school TV show is one of the main characters? Not a recurring character, but one of the main characters. I'm sure you could think of a few. Now, how often is that character a goth? Maybe I just haven't watched enough TV, but I can't think of one. With all these hostile attributes, you'd think that Jade would have a terrible relationship. But she's dating the hottest guy in school. Strange, huh? Who would date a girl like Jade? Start with the letter A, which might go something like... Apples are falling out of my butt. <laughs> Beck is a perfect example of wasted potential. Beck is probably the reason the main gang tolerates Jade, and yet he's the character we learn the least about. I've heard so many people say that he's just a boring character, and I'll admit I used to think the same thing too. But follow me here. Unlike all the other main characters, Beck isn't a dancer, or a musician, or a singer. Yeah, I know he sings a couple of times, but compared to the others, Beck is never in the spotlight. Why? Because he's an actor! The reason Beck comes off as such a dull person is because there are probably a handful of situations where his talent can actually be shown on the show, but even when he could be showing his acting capabilities, the opportunity is always robbed from him. Remember the episode where they get trapped in a warehouse? What if Beck was the one to make it past the lasers and negotiate a way out? Or remember that time where they all can't leave their giant cupcake parade float because they're in the ghetto? What if Beck used his acting skills to talk some locals into helping them? Seriously, there are a few times where he could be extremely useful, but I guess he saves his acting for the stage? And because of that, all we get is a handsome guy with a laid-back attitude. 
most of the time. Anyway, you're not alone. I got your back. Okay. Do not though Eric Paulson got his hair straightened. Shut up! Oh my God. <laughs> Trina is Tori's older sister. She's often referred to as talentless and a complete brat, but I think there is something else going on with her. Early in the show, Trina can't seem to make friends at the school. When she tries to sit with people her own age, they all leave her. Is this because no one likes her at the school? If so, is that the reason why she's such a brat? Well, Trina's home life is actually really terrible. Her parents treat her like a mistake, her sister is always making fun of her, and her sister's friends openly say that no one likes her. Maybe Trina adopted this bratty behavior as a means of coping with all the negativity she's constantly facing. She's always being told she's not talented, but then you have songs like Five Fingers to the Face and All I Want is Everything, where she's singing perfectly on key. So maybe Trina just lacks training, and her attitude makes people not want to bother giving her the time of day. All in all, the show has a well-rounded and memorable cast of characters that I'm sad to say we may never see again, officially. Making these videos was fun, but where do I go from here? I could talk about Jade and Beck's relationship and why I think it works, or I could talk about Nickelodeon's other show about a Latina attending a performing arts school where she befriends a songwriter, a director, and even a mean girl. Only time will tell. Until then, I'll leave you all with this. Well, I never thought that it'd be so simple, but I found a way, I found a way, and I always thought that it'd be too crazy, but I found a way, I found a way.